All right. Uh, thanks for having us here. We are Magnet 360, a new marketing communications network based in Minneapolis, and uh, including our uh, associated member companies, Hello Viking, Insight Software, and Popular Front. We're proud to be part of Fizz Pop here in New York City on November 4th. It's a great challenge to compete with five other agencies in designing an educational interface for K through 12, grades K through 12. And um, we kind of brought an interesting uh, solution to that that we'd like to share with you today. So um, in thinking about the challenge in front of us, we really wanted to uh, you know, make sure that we address not only the needs of students and students collaborating with other students, but also parents and teachers and how do we bring the world into the classroom? How do we allow parents to work with parents and teachers with teachers and really create a holistic, a singular interface that uh, really kind of engages students and gets them excited about teaching, uh, excited about learning and participating in the classroom. So we call this solution uh, Homeroom. And so uh, let's uh, log into Homeroom and see what we got. All right, so today our name is Steve. We're gonna go ahead and log in. So once Steve logs in, we land on our main menu or our home screen that allows us to get to the major sections of the homeroom application, calendar, classes, media, resources and tools, and our yearbook. Along the bottom, like any any uh, home page, you, you want some important information, some quick views into other deeper sections within the application. Um, in this case, we've got announcements on the left, which could be anything from push from the school. It could be announcement from your cheerleading cheerleading team. Um, in the middle, we've got home homework, and it looks like we've got two things that we need to check out. One of them is overdue, uh, and I've, I've received a grade for my algebra exam. And then the yearbook on the right, which is our socializing network. Um, and Andrew is asking me to meet him in the library. I'm going to tell him that I can't. Yeah, we can't, Andrew. We're at we're at Fizz Pop in New York, so sorry, buddy. Oh. And I'll just send that to Andrew. So let's go back up here. First off, let's go take a look at his calendar. So this is Steve's calendar, and we're using live events to run this. Um, you know, it shows Monday through Friday. It's his week. It brings in extracurricular activities as well, and you could even put. Uh, social events on here if you'd like if you knew that you were going uh, to a movie with a friend on Wednesday night or Friday you could put it in here you'll see that he's got lacrosse practice even on Saturday um, let's go see it's Tuesday so let's find out what I'm doing for my first class art history uh, looks like today's today's lessons covering architecture uh, in cathedrals and churches let's jump back and let's go to that class see what it's all about so I click on classes. Here's all my classes, biology, geography, math, English, art history. Let's jump into art history. So here we are. Um, we'll notice that we've got some videos playing today. So the teachers chose to run a video about uh, cathedrals and architecture. I'm actually in the class. So this video over here of my teacher, I don't really need because he's right in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. But if I was, you know, sick or I was, uh, maybe doing a collaboration in the library or something. I could actually participate in art history. I don't actually have to be in the physical classroom. So one of the advantages of homeroom is the ability to kind of have a classroom without walls. Yep. And so this works like much like a, an operating system where you can move things around. I can look at this text. I could pull that video up close. Um, then along the top here, it's today's lesson, architecture and churches and cathedrals. And the teacher has set up the four different parts for today's lesson telling me exactly where I'm at uh, in the lesson. So we're in section two, we're watching the video right now. Next, I'll learn about the assignment and then followed by a work session for 15 minutes. So um, let's jump right to the work session and, oh my gosh, pop quiz. Oh, hey, so here's the question. How does stained glass get its color? Who knows the answer? Do you know the answer? Um, by brushing the glass? I think I think it's by brushing the glass with watered down paint. That's my guess. Let's find out. Oh, looks like we were we were correct. We were with the majority, sixty eight percent. 
All right. So what the teacher just did is they kept me engaged uh, by, you know, saying, I'm going to throw up a question right now. Pop quiz. Let's do this. Let's keep, let's keep the kids focused. So, um, all right. Well, we're curious if we're Steve, we kind of want to know how we're doing in our, uh, in our homework at this point. Yeah. So let's click on this. And so here's a, an example of, of how uh, Steve can look at his homework assignments, past, present, and future for art history. Um, and we're going to scroll down and click on one of them uh, in progress. And so here's a collaborative assignment. So one of the, the advantages of Homeroom, we're going to use Windows Live Spaces and Windows Live Writer to create collaborative work environments where Steve can interact with three other members of his class to write a paper about stained glass. So they can enter text, they can upload video, they can upload images, and work collaboratively on the assignment. And the teacher knows who's logged in. So it's not about allowing one student to just go off on their own and write something for the team. In a sense, that the, the team can be measured by how well all of the students participated on the assignment. So let's go and submit that assignment. And uh, next we'll be, we'll be focusing on the teacher point of view from this class to see what what their view looks like of a class all right so here we are uh, you'll notice a very similar interface this way this the teacher can make reference to things on on the screen and, and the students seeing much the same thing now uh, the main distinction here is that the teacher has a sort of a live area and a presentation area defined by the dashed border so anything that the teacher drags into the dashed border area uh, they know that that material will be displayed on all of the other students desktops Outside of the dash line is sort of a preparation area for uh, text or images or video. So the teacher can basically, you know, take a 20-minute video and queue it up to moment, in, you know, 12 minutes in and, and then drag it over into the area. Let's go check on some attendance on the class. We've got 15 students in art history, and we can tell who's logged into the class. It looks like uh, Carissa apparently is not logged into the class. But at least as a teacher, we're able to kind of be aware of, you know, who's telecommuting and who's not today. And uh, now we're going to go check on some uh, homework from uh, art history as a teacher. So, yeah, so now the teacher, after I submit an assignment, the teacher can get a quick view of the assignment that uh, group number four has turned in about uh, the stained glass. And on the right, you'll see we've created a very simple interface for teachers to use for grading. So one of the advantages here is that the teacher doesn't have to switch between, say, an application to look at a homework assignment and an application to grade it. They can do it all in one interface and kind of keep the grades tagged to the assignment and make it, uh, the process of grading much more efficient for the teacher. So at this point, we're going to click Submit, and now we're going to get an example of how Homeroom uh, goes out into mobile spaces and connects with teachers and students. So after I click Submit, our student Steve could be home eating dinner, watching TV, out with a friend, and his mobile device tells him that he's got a, a text message. So he checks it, and home, the mobile grades from Homeroom sent him a message saying that he's gotten a grade uh, for a class. And the same could be said for his mom. She's opted in to get his grades too, so mom's aware of how Steve is doing in school. So it's a way for parents to kind of stay on top of things in, in a format that's most familiar or most comfortable for them. Yep. So uh, finally, we wanted to demonstrate the last sort of major area of functionality for Homeroom, which is the yearbook. Um, and the basic premise here was, you know, how do you keep students engaged in the educational process? How do you keep them excited? How do you utilize the best of MySpace and Facebook and other social networks to keep students involved in the educational process as they progress from grade to grade to grade? Yep. And it's not only involved, but how do we keep them logged in? We're logged into Homeroom the entire time if we give them their own socializing network called Yearbook. And uh, here it is. So here's Steve. You know, he's a, he's a junior now, but last year he was a sophomore, and he was really into Napoleon Dynamite, so he could choose that skin and... Uh, customize things. He's got his class schedule. He's got a chalkboard, uh, which represents chat. Uh, he's got his football schedule. All of these are you know, utilizing aspects of, of spaces and events to, uh, to customize his page. Let's go see what one of his friends, uh, we'll click on, who's that? Looks like Emily, his uh, friend in seventh grade. She happens to be in the Jonas Brothers. So she was able to customize Homeroom to meet her needs 
And again, so this, this theme that she's created carries throughout all of her classes and everything else, which allows her a, a sense of control and, and as well as freedom to pursue education kind of on her terms. Um, so that really kind of wraps up the, uh, the homeroom experience for us. Uh, social networks, you know, bringing that stuff into a, a very customizable um, interface that allows students high degree of, of, of customization, personalization. And uh, that's about it. Homeroom from uh, Magnet360. Thanks so much, everybody at FizzPop. We had a great time.